بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ شرف الانبیاء والمرسلین محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم وسلم تسلیما کثیرا کثیرا ہم بعد سید نعمہ رضی اللہ عنہ یوز ٹو ایڈوائز اینڈ سے گیٹ یوز ٹو اے ڈیفیکلٹ لائف گیٹ یوز ٹو اے ٹف لائف ہی یوز ٹو سے ڈونٹ ماؤنٹ ہارس فرام اے اسٹیشنری اسٹینڈرڈ پوزیشن لیپ آن ٹو دا ہارس لیپ آن ٹو اے رننگ ہارس ہی سے یوز ٹو سے واک بیئر فٹ لیٹ یور فیٹ دا سولز آف یور فیٹ لیٹ دیم گیٹ یوز ٹو واکنگ آن آن اے رف سرفس ڈونٹ بی ان اے سچویشن ویئر دا سولز آف یور فیٹ آر سو سافٹ دیٹ یو آر پیرالائز اف یو ڈونٹ ہیو شوز get used to heat and cold today we live in an environment where in a, in, a, in a temperature controlled climate controlled environment where if we do not have air conditioning in the summer we feel we are, we are going to die i can understand about heat because in the winter it is literally a matter of life and death if you do not have heat then it's not possible to survive in these in these climates anyway uh, but uh, summer is not like that right But yet, this is how we, uh, we feel. Uh, today, in the name of hydration, in the name of drinking water, which is a good thing to do, uh, we have got this new trend of people walking around with uh, mini buckets in their hands, you know, carrying that. So one, one hand is now useless for anything else. Uh, you're carrying this bucket of water, uh, which you drink constantly throughout the day. I mean, completely, you must think about this, you know, it, yes, you should be hydrated, but does that mean that you have to be like a tap or something which con- continuously water flowing inside you? Um, Ibn Qayyim Rahmatullah, let's just say, do not be overly pleased by easy times. Do not be overly pleased by easy times. Verily, gold is tested for its purity by fire. Likewise, a righteous slave of Allah is tested by trials and tribulations, by difficulties. He used to say that it pains me to see born Muslims chasing the lifestyle of the disbelievers by drinking and clubbing and so on. Why do you think reverts run away from that life to the deen of Allah? Run back to your Rabb Jalla Jalaluhu and because his mercy overcomes his wrath. So don't tempt the mercy, the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How long will the person be happy with this worldly life, knowing that his ultimate home is the grave? I think this uh, is, is, a, is something that we need to continuously remind ourselves about because uh, we live as if in this world, as if we are never going to, um, uh, you know, to face death. Um, because no matter how Um, I, I continue from what uh, some of the advice of Ibn al-Qaim, no matter how beautiful your face is, you will still be the food of worms when you are, when you are buried. Yeah? You will still be the food of worms when you are buried. So set aside your arrogance and remember your grave. The remembering of the grave was something that Rasulullah himself did and he advised us to do. He said, be very careful. careful uh, he, he said the, the the wisest of you is the one who remembers his death most often uh, that is something that uh, really we need to ask ourselves and we need to think about and uh, say how can i live in a state where i'm so heedless that i do not remember my own death hmm? uh, how can i live like this because every single limb and organ in your body will speak up and bear witness against every action that we committed in this dunya. So, it, it, just think about that and you say, if, if, you're, if the fingers of your hand with which you searched for uh, haram content on, the inter- content on the internet or your phone, uh, and they are going to be a witness to say that I was used for this purpose. Today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, gave us power over our bodies and the body remains silent. Our tongue says whatever we want it to say. 
But on the Day of Judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give speech to the body. And the body will speak. And the body will complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And say that this man or this woman made me do things which were haram. I didn't want to do them, but I was under the power of this man. So now punish this man. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ not a word is said in Surah Al-Qaf. Not a word is said except that there is a watcher, there is a recorder by him ready to record it. And of course this includes everything that you posted, everything that you put, you, you, you put onto the internet. Believe me, my brothers and sisters, social media is the biggest trap. Social media is witness against us on the Day of Judgment. Social media is azab jariya for us. May Allah protect us from this. Because all the stuff we watch and all the stuff we post and all the stuff we agree with and disagree with and we uh, thumbs up for and you put stars for and you put ticks for, all of that is evidence either in favor of us or against us. We talk about the hijab. Of course, it includes... Uh, the, the, way of, the way we dress, but in hijab includes the way a person walks and talks and looks and thinks. All of it should be done modestly and it applies to both men and women. It's not only for the women, it applies to both men and women that they must behave in a way which is uh, consistent with the sunnah of Rasulullah A way of uh, behave with dignity, behave with uh, modesty. Um, as far as the sisters are concerned, subhanAllah, all I can say is cover up for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before, it, before it's too late. As today, you are over the soil, on top of the soil, but tomorrow you will be under it. Don't wait, don't wait for that day. Yes, hijab, hijab doesn't necessarily indicate your level of piety, but it is a fard. It is a fard. Uh, all of these are excuses that people uh, make up. They say, oh, so what? Hijab doesn't show. There are, there, there, there are these girls I know, they wear a hijab, but they do this, they do that. That is, forget all that. Regardless of what you say, you have to wear it. This is fard on you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't play games with Allah. Wear your hijab. And let that be a sign of your piety. Nobody said you should not be pious. Should not be pious. If someone is wearing a hijab and not being pious, that's not an excuse for you, and that's not evidence in your favor. You don't you, you don't be like that. You be different from them, and maybe they will change looking at you. Wear the hijab, and make sure that you're also pious. And when you say hijab, it means not only covering up the head and 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 the ears and so on on the head, but also. The rest of the dress must be in a way, must be of a kind which is not see-through, which is not too tight, which does not show the safe shape of the body, uh, which does not um, um, show the body itself. It's very important to be to dress with modesty and to dress with dignity. Make sincere, Ibn, Dawud, Ibn Taymiyyah Rahmatullah said, make sincere tawbah, not just for sins, that you have committed, but also for obligations that you have not fulfilled. So we make tawbah for what we chose to do and what we failed to do, both, right? What we chose to do and what we failed to do. Uh, because doing something which Allah has prohibited is a sin, uh, equally doing something which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us uh, and not doing that is also a sin. So make tawbah. Tawbatan Nasuha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that. Tawbu illahi, Tawbatan Nasuha. Oh, you believe, turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance. So make tawbah not just for sins that you have committed, but also for obligations that you have not fulfilled. Um, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make, to take our souls away when He is most pleased with us and to make us of those who are always conscious of Him. Jalla Jalla. I pray that the comfort of our graves is more than the comfort of our beds. Much more, inshallah. May Allah accept it from us all and may Allah reward us and put it in our scales of good deeds. 
وصلى الله على نبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيمين والحمد لله في رب العالمين